This audio was brought to you by listeners like you. Learn more after the audio. Come in. My pet. My, my. What an unexpected surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure? No, no, you're not intruding at all. Quite the contrary, in fact. I was just thinking about you, my darling. <laughs> oh, yes. It's never a question of if you're occupying my thoughts. No, the real question is which part of you am I thinking of? So many. Delectable options. <laughs> Busy with what exactly? These dusty old books, each of which I've read at least a dozen times. Counting the bricks in the fireplace. All 527 of them. Well, no matter. The point is, I'm never too busy for your company, my darling. There's no interruption I wouldn't suffer if it meant getting to see your lovely face. Speaking of which, come in, my dear. Close the door, won't you? These halls are rather drafty. Good. Come here. Mmm, yes. Look at me, my darling. You heard me. Well, I'm sure the carpet appreciates your gaze. Your master would appreciate it far more. Look at me, my pet. Or do you perhaps need a little help? <laughs> Not to worry. Let me just place my fingers under your chin. And with a delicate tug. There. Yes. Much better. Now, what do you say? Good girl. Where's this newfound obedience coming from? Surely I haven't managed to smother that spark of yours just yet. <laughs> That's good to hear. After all, what's the fun of a new toy if it breaks too soon? You look especially lovely tonight, my pet. That dress is the one that I gave you, isn't it? Do you like it? Hmm, strange. I've never seen you wear it. Perhaps it was all just another act of defiance. I had known you would be radiant in it, yet you'd sooner let it rot in the wardrobe than admit I was right. Mm. The way the fabric wraps around you in its embrace. The way your scent drifts out from beneath it. Knowing that one thin layer of cloth is all that stands between me and that tender flesh. Oh, I wonder where, where shall I feed from you tonight? What do you think, my pet? Where would you like to feel your master's fangs? Yes. I'll allow you to choose. If you do one small thing for me, tell me, darling, why are you here?
No, I'm not talking about our deal. We both know how you came to be in my castle. No, I'm talking about here, in this room. After months of avoiding me whenever possible, months of tensing like a cornered rabbit, every time you're in my presence, why would you suddenly seek me out? Come now, my pet. Did you think I wouldn't notice you dodging my question? Why are you here? Be a good girl and answer me. I'd hate to have to force it out of you. <laughs> I thought so. You heard then about our little rat problem. Apparently, my guards had quite an exciting time the other night. I'd thought my traps would be enough to ward off any potential pests, but it seems I was mistaken. Several of your old associates were caught attempting to force their way into the castle. Unfortunately for them, I've strengthened security quite a bit, given that I have something so valuable to protect. Under, shall we say, questioning, they admitted they were trying to get to you. A so-called rescue mission. They now sit rotting in the dungeon, awaiting their fate. Oh yes, they're alive. Missing a few pieces here and there, but alive nonetheless. What will I do with them? <laughs> oh, what do you think, darling? Spare them. My, that's a big request now, isn't it? After all, they threatened my home, went against the terms of peace I so clearly laid out injured several of my men. But more than that, they dared to think they could try and take you. They dared to try and touch what's mine. My precious pet. My jewel. My angel. My darling. You are mine. Oh, trust me, I won't kill them. No, they don't deserve that mercy. Instead, I think I'll turn them. Yes, I'll turn them into my immortal slaves, and let them watch as I claim you, over and over again, for as long as I desire. Well, well, what have we here? Begging, and on your knees no less. Mm -hmm. I won't deny that I enjoy the sight. Those flea-bitten rats truly mean that much to you. I wonder, just how far would you be willing to go to save them? Just how much would you be willing to offer me? If it was their immortality, or yours, which would you choose? I think you know what I mean, darling. You're asking for the ultimate mercy from me. It's only fair that you should have to prove your loyalty in return. Would you swear yourself to me for eternity in order to save them? Mm 
Was this my plan all along? <laughs> Come now. You can't expect me to reveal all my secrets. Still, you ought to know by now, my dear. Wherever you are, I'm always two steps ahead. Oh, I wouldn't call it torment. More like a little reminder to know your place. I'd hate for you to grow complacent. After all, if you... What the... Brat! What the hell are you... So you want to play rough, do you? Naughty girl, and here I was, thinking I'd finally managed to teach you some manners. Oh, my pet, I promise you, you'll regret this. Enough! Ah, uh, ah, uh, not another word. Be still unless you want me to snap these pretty little wrists. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know, I do enjoy you kneeling, but this, having you pinned to the wall, my body pressed against yours, I'll have to remember this. Now, are you ready to behave? <laughs> Oh, my fiery, foolish pet, I'd expect nothing less. I'll let you think on my offer for a while. Just remember why you submitted to me to begin with. My power is unfathomable. Your pathetic friends could never have hoped to defeat me. And neither can you. Just like before, their only hope lies in your surrender. For now, though, there are more pressing matters. Yes, your scent. That soft skin. Tilt your head to the side. Now. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. That burn, that spice of suppressed rage. God. Oh, there it is. I live for that moment when you stop resisting. That moment when you yield. Going limp in my arms. The moment you accept that you are mine. <laughs> oh dear me, perhaps I went a little bit overboard this time. It's all right, my dear. Not to worry. I've got you. But before you drift off, tell me, who do you belong to? Too tired, hmm. My poor little pet. Allow me to refresh your memory. You are mine. Say it. Good girl. That's right. 
You are mine now and for all of eternity. A big thank you to the apostles listed on screen, whether they support through Patreon, YouTube memberships, or both. If you would also like to support this channel, there is a link to the Patreon in the description, and the join button for the YouTube membership should be next to the channel name. Though, even a like or a subscribe is more than enough. Thank you again, and I hope to see you next time.